So let's talk about fields, and in particular, electric and magnetic fields. These are, just briefly, non-contact forces. They are that ever-elusive non-contact force made real. Um, now, we have electric fields, that's where we'll start. So basically, an electric field is an area around a charged particle or object where a non-contact force will be exerted, which means a push, something will be pushed or pulled, um, on another charged particle. So here we have a negative plate, positive plate. Um, if a charged particle comes through there, because this is an electric field, a non-contact force will be exerted on that particle. Now remember, as they opposites attract, if it is a negative particle, it will go towards the positive plate, it will be pulled. If it is a positive particle, it will be pushed towards the negative plate. Now, the arrows that are drawn here are not drawn in any random way. Um, they are drawn to show the action. This is just a convention in science. It's just something we do to keep it nice and standard so everyone does the same thing. Um, the arrows are drawn to go to show the motion of a positive particle um, in a field. So it's always gone from going from positive to negative. Um, now fields can either be uniform or radial. This is a uniform field. See how all the field lines are in the same direction. It's between two straight plates that are, you know, separated apart from each other. That, you know, they've got a charge that averages that between the two, and you get a uniform. All the lines going the same straight. They are parallel, and that is not an accident. Now here we have radial fields. So you have uniform fields or radial fields. This is pretty much a uniform field from a positive plate to a negative plate, that's it. Then we have the radial fields. Um, here we have a positive particle and a negative particle, and we can see that, now this would probably continue to go around like this for quite a while, um, but we see, but then you see they start to go straighter. So we have a positive particle and a negative particle, and we see the fields join up between the two, and these are the arrowheads pointing the lines that way. If a positive particle flew in from above here, it would shoot off towards the negative particle. Um, here we have a negative plate and a positive particle. Um, if another positive charged particle came in, it would head towards the plate. Uh, if this was reversed, so if this was a positive plate and this was a negative particle, then as a positive particle came in, you have this, and all the arrowheads were pointing in the different directions. You need to put the arrowheads. So here we go from a positive to negative. Uh, again, a positive to negative or negative to positive. But when we put two like charges together, we can see the charges repel. Now, if you had a positive charge coming in from above here, what it would do is it would push its way in, and then it would push back out. And this would happen at any point, pretty much. If a positive charge came in, it would repel out. Now, if a negative particle came in, depending on which one it was closer to or how fast it's going its momentum, it would be pulled towards one of the particles in the center there. Okay, so that's your radial field. You should know how to draw those. Um, now, how related is this to a magnetic field? Basically, they're very related. Um, so statically, a static not moving part, so a non-moving charge, a static charge will produce an electric field. However, and this is the cool, interesting part, a moving charged particle produces both a magnetic field and an electric field. And that's crazy town. Um, so, basically, if you have a wire that's going out this way, it's going to have an electric field coming off it. But it will also, if there's a charge running through it, it will also have an electric, uh, magnetic field. This is why um, if you put a magnet near a wire, it'll start to, sorry, a, a compass near a wire, it'll turn towards the compass. Now, photons, which are light particles, also emit both magnetic and electric fields. And you can bend photons using magnets, which is an interesting thing to do to your television. If you put a magnet near um, an old cathode ray television, it will distort the picture as it drags all the photons towards the magnet. Um, now, magnetic fields also have attractive and repulsive forces, which you see here. Here is a north and south being attracted to each other. And if we do it with iron filings, this is what it actually looks like down here. 
All right, now if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.